So that's for CCE. So far so good. Now we go to differential liberation. Okay, now we need to check this one. Okay, Dif differential liberation. Please note that because the fluid composition is not constant throughout the differential liberation experiment, it is required that the same pressures and temperatures are entered as in the lab to ensure a consistent path is followed. Also, care should be taken when matching directly to the diff lab experiment as the results are more difficult to obtain. Adjustment to the results to ensure mass balance are not uncommon. Last stage must be, last stage may be bled before equilibrium is established and thermal expansion of the vessel at ambient condition can also be affect, can also affect the results. Select the diff tab and enter the relevant data from the diff lip experiment. Similarly to the CC experiment, the liquid density but also the gas oil ratio and oil formation volume factor are important. Weightings can be assigned to data that is less trusted, for example, due to inherent experimental inaccuracies, the original mass balance calculation was off, or it is desired for the regression to take smaller steps. To assign weighting, select the relevant data of points, select the weighting, then is normal, press set weighting. Data points, with weightings assigned will be appeal blue. Okay, now assign a weighting of six to all entries in the oil density column. Okay, so from here, we will go back to the PVTP and input the diff. Okay, so for diff, I have the temperature. Okay, copy and then okay, and then I will input the pressure. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so I will make the temperature. Okay. All right, now the gas oil ratio. Oil formation volume factor. Oil density. Okay, so waiting six set waiting. Okay, stream again still in well stream. All right, click plot. Okay, this is for the gas oil ratio, oil formation volume factor, oil density, okay, and then oil viscosity, no. Okay, lastly, the separator, we go to this one, set. 